Okay guys, I'm back. It's almost 6 p.m. Still on day 3 post-op. Just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm finally able to get up on by myself, use the restroom, and lay down by myself. So that's a great, great, great thing. I feel like transitioning to day 4 tomorrow is going to be way easier as well. The first day was a little bit of a blur, but it was really hard getting like in and out of bed. It was bad. The second day was the worst, I think. Today's post op three days, and I feel a lot better now. I took Tylenol instead of the Percocets earlier today, and then I just took the Percocets um, at 5:40. So. But um, I did take Tylenol to um, 500 milligrams earlier instead of the perks. This, the Percocets are every six hours, so I was like, let me just see how I function with the Tylenol. I did pretty good. I was still in a little bit of pain, but that still pushed me to like I still got up on my own. I used the restroom. It was hard to get up, but after more practice, you do it. You don't get that much hurt. So Carlos went to get some supplies that I need and I'm like knocking out in and out because of the Percocet so I apologize. But I just want to tell you guys that, that I'm able to use the restroom by myself now, like get up and use the restroom. And I laid myself down. I'm so proud of myself. Look at that. I was, I also like, I not removed it but I adjusted the, the binder a little bit and I saw my body again. It's getting flatter and flatter. I'm so excited to see the final results. Tomorrow I get to see more because they're going to like open me up and like clean it up again and stuff. Like the first full stop day. I think that's what they're going to do tomorrow anyway. So doctors aren't going to be there but still. Um, my breasts are like still swollen. That's a bruise, not my nipple. It's still swollen. I don't think I have sensation on this. Well, yesterday I didn't when she touched it. Now I do, which is good. I wanted my sensation back. This one, yeah, I have a lot of sensation here. On my nipple, because they check that too. This breast is so, like, they're both so full in you. Oh. I don't know what to do. I know there's some massages people doing all this stuff, but I'm too tired. And I walked a lot yesterday. I walked a lot. And today too, like, I walked, um, I think maybe an hour and a half in the house. On and off, on and off. Cause it's, it's six something now. But I'm watching Good Girls on Demand. I love that show, season two. I haven't seen it. So that's good. I get to catch up. I'm probably going to write a list tomorrow of things to do. Even if it's things I have to do, like sitting down or laying down. Maybe for my own mindset. Just for me to refresh and like have something to look forward to. Especially because they say that you can get post-op depression. And I know you can, cause a lot. I know someone that got it when they had their their kid. You know, they got it from um, having post post op depression from um, having a baby. But this one's obviously a different type of depression. I don't want to call it at all. Like I'm not bringing in the negativity. I'm a very positive person, and I know when it'll trigger because, and I don't mind. It's the devil's playground. So, in order for me to prevent it, once I start feeling a little bit of anxiety, I obviously went in on YouTube to start getting my um, mind to think about, you know, vlogging when it starts hitting me. So, now I, I can identify anxiety hitting me. So, I decided that tomorrow I'm going to write a list of things for me to do. It could be something s stupid. Like, it can be build a puzzle, uh, write a letter, whatever. Because I need to, and I'm looking around because there's so many things that are distracting me. Look at all the. Uh, I have to do this too. I'm gonna do this after I um, stop vlogging right now. But I just want to keep myself distracted because I don't want it to hit me at all. I don't think it will. I'm gonna keep being positive. Also, it's bad to have a dark room. Like they say to always like when after an operation, especially um tummy tuck or a plastic surgery when you have a drastic change over like n overnight within like a few hours to um, open the curtains up don't be in the dark so that really helped a lot Carlos you know he opened the curtain earlier right now the sun is shining in because it's about to go down so but love you guys I'm gonna post this now 
just to give you guys a little update and then I don't know if I'll post something tomorrow but I'll insert some clips of me walking to the restroom and things that I was able to do today that I remember I recorded throughout the day I'll insert it it might be off the timing or whatever but at least you'll see me do different things on um, full stop day three okay bye guys